G'day, welcome to um, Bullockwell Angus here at Pinaroo, South Australia. My name's Heath Nichols and there's my wife Amanda, my son Archie and, and Cooper. We're missing one son, uh, Harry, he's at school in Adelaide but, and he'd love to be here to welcome you and show you what we do here at Bullockwell. We run about 230 to 40 um, registered Angus females and then with some recips and so on we probably register 250 or 60 registered calves a year so yeah that's about the extent of our cattle operation and we have an annual sale in February where we offer around 50 to 60 bulls in the sale and it, that's run in conjunction with an annual cropping program of just cereal of wheat and barley and triticale so that runs alongside our, or complements our cattle operation and the cows are sort of run on cereal crops through the year but also um, perennial pastures on our lighter country. Bulls are finished on the sale preparation off of Lucen but obviously like to, to carve cows on Lucen and milk grass perennial pastures so um, that's a bit about what we do. Yeah agriculture is in my blood on both sides of my family and also Amanda's family. Uh, they farmed at Lamaru and so yeah, I guess all we know is agriculture and farming, I guess, wouldn't have it any other way. Spent plenty of hours sitting in a tractor with my dad or, or feeding sheep, not necessarily with cattle, that didn't come until I was about 16 or 17, but a close neighbour of ours here, uh, Ron Cowley at Rosalie Angus at Pinaroo, I guess introduced me to the Angus breed. As a young tacker, we'd see his cattle on the side of the road and, and he see that I was interested in cattle and got me to go. Actually, my first heifer show was at Hamilton and I showed a cow, Phoebe P80. That sort of sparked my interest in, in Angus and attended a few more heifer shows. And then when I left school, Dad said, uh, well, you might as well enjoy what you're doing. So what, do you, what, do you, what would you like to go and do? I said, well, I don't mind cattle. So we attended the SAB field days and it was actually a bit embarrassing. We'd turn up and people had other breeds and then they'd ask us what sort of cattle we ran and we said, well, we didn't. And we, some people laughed at us. And, but we went and looked at all the other breeds and went and looked at some good Angus cattle and decided that that's what we were going to do. So we went and bought some cows off of the Rosalie herd and yeah, the rest is history, I guess. The most perfect animal for me is a feet and temperament from the start and then um, obviously fertility. So, but in a, in a moderate package, we, we have a really short growing season here, about 13 inch rainfall. We, we need to grow grass, but we need, to, we need cattle to thrive and do really well through that period and then do well on low quality fodder that we supply them throughout the rest of the year. Obviously we have exceptions, exceptional years, but um, on, on an average that's what we need to do. So that moderate package, and I don't know, I think maybe moderate's become the new buzzword, or I don't know what, whether, what the word is, but everyone's talking about moderate cattle, but I think we have to breed it here in our environment, and that's what we really like about I think our cattle will do here, they'll do anywhere. That's my ideal animal with a fertile, good-footed cow that's, that's got a very good temperament in a, in a moderate package, I guess, that with you know, a constitution that'll do do really well. Majority of our bulls will go in, a, call it the upper southeast of South Australia. Um, so a lot of a lot of loose and um, base pastures, sort of probably in your 16 to 20 inch rainfall country. And a lot of those, those producers are selling as, as wieners through into, into the feedlot trade. So. Um, I guess, and there's a few guys that are obviously going into like, heavy cattle off of grass as well, but the majority of the cattle are probably going into getting their calves off of two to 400 day weights, they're most important, and then they're weaning through in, into the feedlots, generally on like sort of 100 day programs, I guess, for domestic sort of kills. We're doing it because we love it, but also it's part of the bills, but yeah, agriculture is a great thing to be involved with because you can keep pushing your production. Like some things you can sit back and just, that'll, that'll be, that's enough, that'll do. Whereas agriculture, you can just keep pushing the limit um, production. And I think that's what gets me out of bed in the mornings. Like we've got bills to pay and how do we do it? We've got X amount of land to do it with. How are we gonna do it? So let's just push the job. So that's what the best thing about agriculture, I reckon, is that yeah, you can always think outside the square and be in the hands of the gods, whether it rains or not, or you get frosted or, or what. But you know, we, as farmers and in agriculture, we we've dealt with that is the best thing about agriculture as I see it. Well, it's, and it's always different, like we, you get up, it might be dry and you might be feeding cattle, that might be your first job for the day for a prolonged period, but it changes, Look, as the season changes, you you know, you go from to feeding cattle to harvesting crops to AIing to bull sales, to, it's always changing and, and the kids are always like, what's dad going to have in store for me today? 
but um, Harry's right into his genetics and a bull sale catalog turns up and it, I know I lose it because it's next to his bed. You know, like he, he loves it. He, um, he'll just rattle off a pedigree. And so that's his passion. Um, Cooper's probably more into growing the feed and crops and that. Um, he's got a really good temperament with cattle, better than mine. I think that's the best thing about it, it can work. You know, one's gonna grow grass and one's in the cattle. And, and Archie, he's gonna be our all-rounder, he tells me. He keeps everyone in line, he's the he's the boss, I'd suggest. Archie's still reasonably young, but he enjoys his heifer shows and got some good friends out of that. I see all three of them heavily involved in agriculture in the, in the future, and that makes us pretty proud as parents. I find it easy to get up every morning because I love what I do in a family run business and couldn't be prouder of what we're doing here. We've built something that we truly believe in and our genetics and what we do. Yeah, you have down days when it's dry or commodity prices against us, but I guess I still believe I'm, you watch the sun come up and the sun goes down. And I think we're the luckiest people in the world. Like I couldn't be happy with what we're doing. Like it's, it's just the greatest lifestyle in the world. And, and I'm so grateful to be able to bring up um, three Great young lads in, in, in the, the same, same environment both me and Amanda grew up in.